All right, guys, we need to review some of our uh, double digit subtraction and addition. So let's start with addition. Say we have 85 plus 36. So we always start on the right side. Always start on your ones, the smallest place. So you go 5 plus 6 is 11. Drop 1 here. Now the tens place comes over here. Now you add. 8 plus 3 is 11. Add this guy, it's 12. When we don't have anything else, just drop it straight down. You drop your 12 down, so you get that 121. Be sure you're carrying over here, okay? That 10 has to go over here with the rest of these 10s. And then you add down, add all three of these together. I've seen some people do this 5 plus 6 and just drop the 11 straight down here. you got to make sure you're carrying it up here and adding all your 10s together. Let's try a subtraction one. Okay. When your 1s place, the bottom is smaller than the top, you have got to borrow. I've seen too many people try and do seven minus five. If the top is smaller, you've got to borrow. So this five is smaller than the seven. So you gotta go over here, take out, your, take out a 10 from your seven, that becomes six. Now this is 15. 15 minus seven is eight. Then you have 6 minus 2 is 4. You have to borrow. If this bottom is smaller, borrow. If not, then you can subtract normally. But if it is smaller, borrow. Then you do the 6 minus the 2. Be sure you're borrowing. Okay, let's try a couple triple digits. Make it a little trickier. Say we have 756 plus 465. Okay, start with your ones. 6 plus 5 is 11. Drop the ones, carry the tens. 5 plus 6 is 11, plus 1 more is 12. Drop the 2, carry the 1. 7 plus 4, 11. Plus 1 more is 12. Drop that 12 straight down. You move all the way to the end until you're out, and then everything you have left just drop straight down. Make sure you're, borrow or you're carrying. Carrying those 1s is important. You can't just do five, 6 plus 5 is 11 and put 11 down there. That 10 has to go over to the next side. Let's do a triple digit subtraction. Okay, again, with the subtraction, if the bottom is bigger, you have to borrow. 8 is bigger than 3, so you need to borrow. So this 1 becomes a 0, and this becomes 13. 13 minus 8 is 5. Done there. Move on to the next side. 0 minus 2. I cannot do that. 2 is bigger than 0, so I have got to borrow. So I take from the 5, comes a 4. This becomes 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. 4 minus 2 is 2. 285. Okay. If the bottom number is bigger, you have to borrow. That's the biggest thing I'm seeing right now is us not wanting to borrow. 
If it's the bottom number is bigger, you cannot subtract it. That'd be like saying you have five pieces of candy and you want to take ten. You can't. You only have five. So you can't take ten out of there. Only five. So you have to borrow from the next side. Borrow, borrow, borrow. Okay. So we're going to do some practice on this and hopefully we have some improvement. Okay. Take your time. Make sure you're borrowing. Make sure when you're adding, you're carrying over to the other side. Good job.